Hi friends, welcome to this series. My name is Yogesh. In this series, we are going to discuss on uh, Ansible, which is automation tool. At present in market, there are multiple automation tools available. Some of them are uh, Puppet or Chef or Spacewalk. But in this whole series, we are going to discuss about Ansible. So something about Ansible. Ansible is a very simple IT automation engine that automates provisioning, configuration, application deployment, intra-service orchestration, and many other IT needs. So Ansible is widely used by system administrators, system engineers, application developers, database administrators, and uh, network administrators. So everything in IT can be controlled using Ansible. So now what are features of Ansible. First thing, Ansible is open source. Second, uh, Ansible is written in Python, so it's very easy to read and uh, extend. Installation of Ansible is very easy and configuration, that's also very easy. And uh, next thing, Ansible is highly scalable. Highly scalable means uh, you can control 10 clients or you can control 10,000 clients using Ansible. So, it's very highly scalable. The next feature which is agent-less client configuration. Personally, I like uh, this feature because with other automation tool, uh, if I take example of uh, Puppet, you need to install a Puppet client on a server which you want to manage using Puppet. So that uh, puts load or it need a little bit space on your client side. But uh, beauty of Ansible, it not need any agent installed or running on client. It use SSH keys for communication between Ansible control server and Ansible client. So requirements for Ansible, as I said, it need communicates over SSH. So we need SSH installed on a client, which is installed by default on all network devices. SSH facilities there on all operating systems, uh, Windows or Linux or Solaris, open SSH packages are available. Next thing, requirement is uh, installation of Python. At present, Python is part of all operating systems. If you say Solaris, Linux or Windows, Python is installed by default. Because uh, why we need Python? Python because uh, Ansible is written in Python. To decode uh, the configuration code, we need uh, Python installed on uh, clients. So next thing, components of Ansible. There are two major components. One is program, other is module. In program, they are Ansible, Ansible doc, Ansible playbook, and Ansible pool. In module, uh, module are basically the set of uh, instructions written for uh, one particular service type. So they can use to perform configuration and system management. So some of example uh, of modules are copy module, service module, file module, yum module, user and group module. So why we need uh, module? So each module got a specific set of instructions to manage the service efficiently. If I uh, take example of yum module on Lilic on Linux systems, we use yum to manage uh, packages. Using yum module, you can remove package, you can check what package is installed, you can uh, update the package on client side using yum module. That's an example, friends. So friends, in this series, uh, we will discuss in uh, next videos how we can install Ansible. And uh, we will uh, run basic Ansible commands. At the end, we will create our Ansible playbook and uh, do some basic uh, IT automation using Ansible. So stay tuned and uh, watch my next videos for further updates. Thanks friends.